Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to cover previews in Maxwell Materials. Previews are a way of seeing what a material looks like and also comparing between different material properties. For example, if you wanted to finely tune a material and compare it to a previous version. So here I am in Maxwell Studio and I'm going to go over to my Materials Manager and then right click and select a new material and double click to open it in Material Editor and this box in the upper left of the material editor is where my preview will appear and I can refresh my preview by clicking this refresh icon or sometimes a faster way is to double click the material preview itself you'll notice that when I do this that the refresh icon changes to a red square this is to indicate that the material preview is refreshing clicking the refresh icon when it's a red square will stop the preview from refreshing. There are many different material previews to choose from and these can be accessed from this drop down menu underneath the material preview itself. Each material preview is suited to a different type of material, for example the drapery is designed to show off the best properties of cloth and the floor preview is for floors. You can also access the preview scene selection menu from the preview menu in the material editor menu bar. The preview menu can also be accessed by right clicking in the material preview itself. The preview files themselves are found inside the preview folder inside the Maxwell installation directory. You can add new scenes to this directory in order to have that scene to choose from to preview a material. The scene must contain a material called preview and it must be applied to an object. If I right click and bring up the preview menu again and select load scene, you can individually select a scene to use for a preview, for example if you just want to use one particular preview once. Clicking next scene and previous scene will go through the different installed scenes so you can quickly get various different material previews. In order to store a preview so you can look at it later, you can open the preview menu and select store. Then you can change values in the material, refresh the preview, and store the new preview. Clicking on the arrows underneath the material preview will change between the stored previews. You'll notice that the properties of the material are also reverting to their stored state, so you can revert to an earlier version and continue working from that. You can also access all of your stored previews at once by opening the preview menu and selecting previews. Opening the preview menu and selecting remove will discard the current preview and its associated material properties. Also from the preview menu, you can export the preview to its own Maxwell scene file or Maxwell material. Lastly, the preview menu contains the preview options. Sampling level and time operate as they would normally in Maxwell. The preview will render the preview scene until it reaches one of the two settings, i.e. in this example it will render the scene for 10 seconds and no longer, but if it reaches SL10 in that time it will stop before 10 seconds. Changing these values will change the quality of the preview and the time it will require. The scale will literally just change the size of the preview. For example, if your material is taking a long time to preview, you can reduce the size of the preview in order to speed it up. The maximum size is 100%. The quality setting allows you to change which render engine Maxwell will use to render the material preview. The draft quality uses the Maxwell Fire engine. The production quality uses the same engine as Maxwell Render itself. Draft quality will provide a faster preview, but the production quality will provide a more accurate preview. I can demonstrate this by using the material wizard to create a new high grade glass material and enable dispersion in the material properties and change the preview scene to gem. Using the draft engine, the preview is fast but doesn't show the dispersion in the glass because the draft engine does not prioritize dispersion until much later. If I change the quality to production and refresh, the preview takes longer but the dispersion is now accurate. You can see the dispersion as different colors inside the glass. Finally, this padlock icon next to the refresh button is to prioritize the material preview over the interactive preview. If I click this button, I don't have to click refresh after every adjustment I make to the material. 
So I can, for example, change the color of the material and see it updated in real time without having to click refresh every single time. Turning on the padlock will disable the interactive preview if it's running and vice versa, so only one can be running at a time. This concludes the material preview settings. In future videos I'll be covering Maxwell materials themselves in more depth as well as associated options and more of Maxwell Render as a whole. Thanks for watching. For more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.